Welcome, my name is Josh Zamor, and this is a demo of PCMT version 2. PCMT is an extension to the open source Akinio Community Edition, and so you'll see Akinio here on the screen. The PCMT modules are loaded behind the scenes and come with the PCMT distro. So with that, we're going to get started and log in as admin. Upon logging in, we're brought immediately to the activity dashboard. And you can see this dashboard here. You get to it through the activity menu on the left, and go to dashboard. And this is the main dashboard that shows us everything that's happening in the system at a very high level. So we have uh, some indicators of the completeness of our products over various channels and locales, such as this. We also have all of the last operations that have been happening within the system as well as a snapshot of the drafts that need review in the system. We also have another dashboard over here under activity called Catalog Volume Monitoring, where we can get a sense of how big our product catalog is, how many products we have in it. Right now we have over 1,200, how many different channels, uh, different locales we have activated, including different families. And you can use families for structuring products in different ways, for example, a product for pharmaceuticals is going to have different attributes than a product for medical devices, for example. Uh, you can also see that we have uh, over 300 different types of attributes that are in here. And again, not every product is going to have 300 attributes, um, but we have 300 different types here that we split into different families. We have over 400 categories here, um, as well as eight different category trees or different category systems. So this gives you a sense of how many products are in the system. Our process tracker gives us an, a sense of all of the different operations that have been happening in the system. And our draft screen, which we'll, we'll talk about more later, will show us any drafts. And right now we don't have any drafts uh, that we're working on. So with that, let's go look at the products that we have in our system. And let's get a sense of how we can structure products differently. So if I were to look up beads, I would come up with color-coded plastic beads. And if I click into this product, I'm gonna find that this product has a number of different attributes and that I can, this product is also structured in this particular way with a source supplier. And we'll click on this source supplier. And underneath this source supplier, we have one trade item defined. And if we were to click in this, then we all of a sudden have a lot more different attributes Instead of a dozen or so, we perhaps have over 100 attributes in here split into all these different attribute groups. Well, that's great. So that's one type of product, color-coded plastic beads. It's a family planning product. But as I mentioned earlier, we can structure our products differently. So now if we go look for gloves, we can bring up these surgical gloves here. And we'll notice that for this generic product, we have a fairly similar sort of attributes, but we have different attributes in here, and we can configure that. We also have a different structure, so instead of going to a source supplier, we go straight to a pack size, and we can click on this one pack size, and again, we have more attributes, but we can have a different, type, different number of attributes and different types of attributes than our color-coded plastic beads. So, PCMT gives us a way to sort our products and define our products in different ways, and we just saw that example with color-coded plastic beads and gloves. And let's see how PCMT gives us the ability to sort our products into different categories. So here, let's get rid of gloves, and let's say we wanted to find our color-coded plastic beads again. Now, we could type it in as we just did before, and it would find it for us. Or we could scroll through this list and, and try to find it that way, but there's many different pages. Another way to find our products is to use the category system. And in our category system, we can see all the different categories by clicking on category over here under our left hand filters. And the first thing that we see is that we have a main catalog system. And under this main catalog system, we have a number of different categories. Right now we're looking at products to trade items, but we also have a number of different catalog systems such as ATC, COVID, GFP van, etc. We have a number of different systems in here. Each one has its own set of categories. So if we went to GFP van and we want to find our color-coded plastic beads, we could go to reproductive health, 
we could go to fertility awareness. And we have the standard days method in here. And here's our color-coded plastic beads. So this product, color-coded plastic beads, is categorized into this category, standard days method, under fertility awareness, under reproductive health, in the GFP van category system. But this product can be categorized into multiple different systems as well as multiple different categories. So if we changed our system and instead we were interested in looking at product sourcing, we could go to our product sourcing category. And if we want to find uh, color-coded plastic beads from a specific manufacturer, and I can click on manufacturers, and I hope uh, happen to know that this is supplied or made by Cycle Technologies. So I click on Cycle Technologies, and there's our color-coded plastic beads again. Now let's actually click into this product and see how this product is categorized into different systems. So under categories on the left, for this product in the main catalog, it's under products to trade items. In the GFP van system, we can see that it's under fertility awareness, standard days method, color-coded plastic beads. And in product sourcing, we'll see that it's under the supplier GHSC PSM, and under our manufacturers, it is under Cycle Technologies. Now, let's make a change to this product. In order to do that, I'm going to log out of the administrator account, and I'm going to log back in under a more restrictive user. So let's log in as family planning. Now we'll go find that product. Here's our color-coded plastic beads. And now, if we want to change the definition of this product, we're going to go up here to the Edit as a Draft button, and we're going to click on that. As soon as we do, we'll notice that all our attributes have become unshaded, meaning that we can change the value inside it. So I could change color-coded plastic beads just to say beads. And I should also note that I can have many different values for many different languages in the system. So I could go up here to my locale and I could change from English to French. And we'll notice that our product attribute changes to a value in French. And I can also add a new value here for this definition in French. So I could write uh, beads in French. Now the other value hasn't gone away, it's just that I have a value for this in English and I have another value for that in French. Let's also change the categories. So I could go into my categories, I could go to GPC, and I could bring this down and say let's add this to our healthcare segment. And I could also go to associations and make an association of a type substitution to another product. Now this may not make any sense, but I could go up here and I could find my gloves and I could associate my, my beads with my gloves. And we'll confirm that. Now let's save those changes and we'll do that by clicking Save Draft. And what we've done so far is we've created a draft of this product, of those changes, and if we go to our products and our color-coded plastic beads, we'll see that none of the changes that we've made have actually affected our product catalog. It's all still the old values. But we have created this draft, and we can go see the changes that we've made by clicking Edit Existing Draft, and here's some of our changes. In order for this draft to affect our product catalog, we need to approve it. And we can do that by going to Activity and going to Drafts. And here's the, the draft that we've made for this product. And if we expand this, we can see here's our changes. We've changed color-coded plastic beads to beads. Over on the right, you'll notice that we have a couple different buttons, one for approving a product draft and another for rejecting that product draft. And you'll notice that as the family planning user, I am not able to click on either one of these. And this is part of the permission system that PCMT has added that is useful in that it allows many different people to be responsible for ensuring product data quality. Some that can only see products, others that can propose changes through drafts, and finally those that are able to approve or reject those proposed changes. And these permissions are very flexible so that people can be grouped by product categories. Perhaps you want groups to be by types of products such as family planning or by product sourcing, etc. It's completely configurable. So I'm going to log out as the family planning user. 
and I'm going to log back in as the admin so that I can approve that draft. We'll go to Activity and to Drafts. Here's our draft again, and now I have the ability to approve the draft or reject it. So let's go ahead and click Approve. We'll make sure that we want to approve it. And now once we approve that draft and we go to Products, here's our beads, and we can see that our changes have taken effect. Another easy feature that we've added in PCMT version 2 is the ability to click through on associations. So if I go to my associations from beads, I can click on my surgical gloves, and it will take me right to my surgical glove definition. In PCMT version 2, we've also added a new product attribute type called a table. And to find that, let's go in our demo data, let's go back to our products. We're going to go to the GDSN queue, because this is where we have demo data defined for this, and we'll just click on one of these. And we'll go to our attributes. And if we scroll down now, we'll find that this attribute has a table plugin installed. This is an open source uh, table plugin, and we think it's useful for being able to show uh, meta information in a table structure, such as packaging hierarchy. And so here you can now structure your attributes to also have this table information in it, and you can configure this table and rearrange the items in this table however you want. Now, one of the most common things you'll need to do with PCMT is get product data into and out of the system. And these things are very configurable. So we have our imports. We have a whole number of imports in here. We have our exports. We have a number in here. And just to show how configurable these are, let's go look at the product models export. And if we click on the edit for this product models export, and we go to content, we can see that we can change which channel is exported, which locales, such as different languages, which attributes. Right now we only have two selected. We could go in here and click Edit, and we could remove all of these or select a specific set of attributes. Um, whatever we want to do, we can, we can do simply by dragging these over uh, and rearranging their order over here. We also have a number of filters that we can apply to this export, such as family, a time condition, different categories, completeness, or even specific identifiers. Now those are our imports and our exports, and if we click Save, we'll see that now we can run a job that will then create an Excel file for us in the background. And this will take a couple moments to complete, and it'll tell us that it's written all 145 products into an Excel file, and we can now download those Excel files. PCMT and Akinio also come with a full RESTful API, so that if you want to connect this system with other IT systems, you can do so by going to System and going to API Connections. You'll see our demo data comes with this example demo connection, um, and you can create new connections, new credentials for those connections, or revoke the existing one. And finally, let's take a look at how configurable PCMT is. Now, we've been noting that there's a number of different attributes in this system, and the demo data right now comes with 341 different attributes. At any time, you can go in, you can create a new attribute, such as dates, concatenated attributes, metrics, etc. And if you click on any of these and start creating that attribute, you'll see that you have a number of options for that attribute. The code, the type, which group it's in, if it needs to be a unique value, any values per channels, values per locales, usable in a grid, locale specific, and you can even give validation parameters such as max characters or even a validation rule such as email, regular expressions, URLs, etc. So this is very configurable and helps you with your data quality. You can also put in label translations for different languages you have configured as well as description translations which show up underneath the attribute uh, to help guide people through entering in quality data. You can also configure your attribute groups, and here we have a number defined. As we were talking about, we were uh, showing all of the different categories, and all of these are configurable, so we could look at product sourcing and add new suppliers, etc. We have a number of families that are defined, and you could create new families. These are how the attributes are structured for each type of product that you have in the system. We'll skip over some of these, but you can also define association types. We saw those, packaging, hierarchy, substitution. You can create new association types. It's very simple. Uh, and you can activate and deactivate different currencies, different locales, 
uh, and even different channels, such as LMIS or GDSN or Product Catalog. And you can create new ones of these if you want. And then finally, we'll look at the different user settings that you can configure. So you can see that you can give a user account to every person in your organization. You can group those people into different roles, which controls their uh, different rights in the system. And you can also add those people uh, into different user groups. And new in PCMT version 2 is you can use those user groups, uh, as we saw earlier, to control access to different product categories through these permissions here. And you can add these different user groups in as you need. So this has been the demo for PCMT version 2, and I want to say thank you.